So right here, I have got what looks like a cheap pair of mediocre sunglasses. But they're not, because on the inside here it says, do not use as sunglasses. Because this, this is a pair of 3D glasses that you can wear in a cinema in order to perceive a 3D film in 3D. And I was just wondering, how on earth does that actually work? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. We humans perceive depth because we have two eyes. Okay, so it basically means we have two cameras that are located right next to each other. And these two cameras are looking at the world from different positions. And because we have two cameras looking at the world from different positions, we're able to determine how far away objects are. And that's what allows us to see depth. So filmmakers quickly came up with the idea, what if we film with two cameras? So instead of filming using one camera, we take two cameras, put them right next to each other, shoot the entire film that way, and then if we can deliver the video tracks of each camera or the film tracks of each camera to the left and right eye of the person watching, then the film will be in 3D. But that's where the problem comes in. How do we deliver the image from the right camera to the right eye and the image from the left camera to the to the left eye? How do we do that? Well, in in the modern day technology with virtual reality and all that, we could use VR goggles, right? So we could have um, a display in front of each eye in, in a pair of goggles and then make one display show the video from one camera and the other display the video from the other camera but of course they didn't have such technology back in the day so they came up with the following idea what they did is this they made one of the video tracks or one of the film tracks I should say because video wasn't really a thing back then they made them different colors so they adjusted the colors of these two different tracks then they projected both films, because they're effectively two films, onto the same screen in the cinema. And the viewers that are in that cinema would then watch this film using a pair of goggles uh, that had two different colours of glasses in them. So the film with the reddish colour would go only through that red filter and only to that eye and the film with the bluish colour would go through the blue filter and only reach the left eye. But of course, um, you're kind of messing with the colours of the film here. And that's a problem, because what we want, ideally, is we don't just want nice 3D effects, we also want to maintain nice, accurate colours in our film. So, that's the next step. How do we come up with a system to separate the, to deliver the right video to the right eye, without messing with the colours of the of the film. And this is where modern 3D glasses come in, which use polarisation. So what is polarisation? Great question. Light is, of course, a form of electromagnetic radiation. Therefore, we can describe it as particles flying through the sky, but we can also describe it as waves. And waves can have a polarisation. So, if a wave goes up and down like this, vertically, we call that a vertically polarised wave. That means um, vertically relative to the surface of the Earth. That, that's, that's what we're talking about here, because of course in space there isn't really vertical or horizontal. And then, of course, a horizontally polarised wave is a wave that moves like this. And that is all. that also goes for light, so we have vertical and horizontal light, but we also have diagonally polarised light and all of that. Now, light from a normal light source has all kinds of polarisations, and we don't really care about that. But we can produce specifically polarised light using, for example, a polarising filter. So, what the engineers came up with is the following idea. We project the image from the right camera using, let's say, only vertically polarised light onto the screen and we project the image from the left camera using, say, only horizontal, horizontally polarised light onto the screen. Then, 
we give the viewers of the movie a pair of glasses, a pair of goggles, with two filters in them. One of them only lets through vertically polarised light, the, only, the other one only lets through horizontally polarised light. That way, the image from the right camera goes through only one of the filters, and the image from the left camera only goes through the other filter, which means the images get delivered to the right eye. So, this works, because now we can separate these two images that are projected onto the same screen and get them to the right eye of the viewer, but without messing with the colours of the film. So that's very clever. But you might have seen this coming. There is an issue with this polarisation system, and that issue is, what about the viewers turning their heads? Because we're talking exact vertical polarisation, exact horizontal polarisation. If the viewer sits like this, he's messing things up because his glasses have filters in them that are made for horizontal or vertical polarisation. So if he turns his head, that's going to mess up the whole thing and it can reduce or even destroy the 3D effect of the film. So clearly this wasn't the solution after all which is why they came up with the final system, which we use these days. That's why I call it the final system. There might be an additional one in the future, <clears throat> but that's a system we're using these days. Here's the thing. Light, as we, saw, as we just saw, can be vertically polarised. It can be horizontally polarised. But light can also be circularly polarised, or also elliptically polarised, but that doesn't really matter for now, which means it behaves like a corkscrew of some sort, like this. And that's interesting, because what we can do now is we can project one of the images on our screen, one of the video tracks, using clockwise circularly polarised light, and the other one using anti-clockwise circularly polarised light. And now we can use filters on these glasses where one of them only lets through clockwise and the other one only lets through anti-clockwise po circularly polarized light which means we're delivering the right video to the right eye we're not messing with the colors and because it's anti-clockwise versus clockwise it doesn't matter what the position of the viewer's head is it doesn't matter if the viewer's head is, is, is turned at 90 degrees like this or just straight up because anti-clockwise and clockwise always remains the same. So that way we fixed all of the issues with 3D so far and that's brilliant of course. So there you go, that's how modern 3D films work. It's actually pretty interesting, although I don't really like watching 3D films. Personally, I actually prefer watching regular films because I don't really like being immersed in a film. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I kind of prefer just watching what happens in a movie. I like the fact that I'm not personally in it because usually the characters in a movie are in rather terrible situations. So I like that I'm just able to watch that happen rather than being part of it. But that's just me speaking here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, thank you for watching.